All right, what's going on guys? It's been a minute since I've done a video, so I thought I would show you some recent trimmer mods that I've done. Uh, one is this Diamondback cover. I'll talk about that in just a second. And then I recycled my old XL80 Baja Designs lights for my Jeep and put on my truck. I think they look a lot better on the truck actually because the truck's so much bigger. Those were a little overkill for the Jeep, but I think they really look good on the truck. Um, and of course are extremely bright. So I picked this diamond back cover up not long ago and I gotta tell you, I really like it. Uh, of course, it's very durable. You can't get into this. This isn't something you're gonna be able to break into. I got the smooth texture, which is very similar to the steps on the Ford with the kind of the rhino lining type texture. I like this a lot better than the diamond plate. And then of course it has the cleats on it. And so it's real simple. It just opens and then it raises up. And then it's even got these cool track mounts here. And I've got my little shovel here for if I ever need a shovel, as you can see, not much use on the shovel, but it's pretty cool. Another thing I did, and you, you may think that this is whatever but anyway this is a piece of flex tape and i just put it in here to keep out dust for one but then also just kind of make an even surface if you've got something in there like i don't know gravel or something that's you know could fall down in there it's held up pretty well i mean worst case scenario i have to pull this off and it doesn't work no big deal but so far it's worked pretty well and um, just you know kind of keeps it as black as everything else except for just a little bit of the white paint here but uh, this is the Diamondback HD, so you're supposed to be able to haul, I think, 1,600 pounds on the actual cover. Not that I'm going to be hauling 1,600 pounds on the cover, but if you wanted to haul a four-wheeler, something like that, it's very, very durable. Another thing that I think is cool about this cover is, like, for example, if you have a huge cooler, sometimes I've got, like, a cooler, like a Bison cooler that's, like, 150 quart, and if you put it in the bed of the truck, it pretty much takes up the whole bed of the truck. With a cover like this, you can actually put it on top of the cover, strap it down, and then you still have your whole bed left. So the front opens a little differently. Uh, it's got this safety latch here. I think basically what this is supposed to be for is if the cover accidentally pops up, it stops, and then the wind won't catch it and then blow it back. But you just kind of have to push this. But when it's coming up, you just kind of have to push this up. And then the cover goes up like that. So it's kind of a mess back here, some stuff shifted around. But anyway, the problem with this cover is that I still have a fifth wheel camper. And I haven't towed my fifth wheel <laughs> since I've got this. And I'm dreading taking this thing off to haul the camper. However, I'm not using the camper that much right now, so it hasn't been an issue. But overall, I really like this cover. Very strong latches. These go up under the bed rails here and secure. And you're supposed to have them fairly tight. You kind of have to push down a little bit. I did have to add this seal here. Uh, and then it has a seal as well on all the way around, basically. So I really like the cover. It's extremely durable. Honestly, I think it looks cool. You know, I mean, some covers look cooler than others. But this, uh, this rhino line texture, kind of how it matches the uh, side steps there. I think it just makes it look really aggressive. I like the cleats on it. So I think it's perfect for a truck like a trimmer. If I keep this cover, I'll probably add some more things in here. Uh, you know, I mean, anybody that ever goes on a dirt road has to have a shovel and an ax somewhere in here. So I definitely need to get an ax that I'll never use and put in here. So probably some more stuff to come if I decide to keep this thing. I'm afraid what's gonna happen is the first time I have to take this off, to uh, haul my fifth wheel that I'll want to get something more like a Retrax. This actually only has four clamps, two on each side that hold the middle piece down and then each piece secures to the middle piece. So, you know, if you just needed bed space, you can take this panel off or this panel off pretty easily. As you can see here, uh, when you tilt the panel up, it just lifts straight off and it would be great if you just needed to take one panel off, but I actually need to take off the middle piece for the fifth wheel, which is actually where those clamps are. 
So probably end up getting a retrax at some point if that becomes a hassle. Because the next thing I really want to do is I want to get some sort of bed rack. I do like to go camping. Um, I've been looking at rooftop tents forever. I just hadn't pulled the trigger on one. Up top Overland makes a bed rack that mounts to the Diamondback uh, with no drilling, anything like that. Basically, you use these cleats as your mounting point. We'll see uh, where we end up with that. But for now, I really like the Diamondback. It has proven to be waterproof. I uh, went through uh, quite a few rainstorms, taking it to a car wash. Um, you know, just uh, just really tried to get some water in there. When you lift it up initially, you know, there will be some water on this seal and that will get in. But basically no water inside the bed. So I was a little concerned about the middle. But uh, as you can see, this when you put this down, this doesn't line completely up but as you can see inside there's another this is the this is kind of where the clamps go and there's an actual seal here as well so it kind of keeps the water from getting inside so i've been really pleased with the uh, cover as far as water intrusion and stuff like that so highly recommend the cover if you need to haul something on top of it it's perfect um if i didn't have a fifth wheel it would be perfect the problem is I do have a fifth wheel, and so it may not be perfect for me. But we'll have it on here at least for a little while longer. When you get ready to close it, you just close those, and there it is. So the back just goes down easy. For the front to go down, you actually have to turn. And it's secure. And it has key locks on both of these. And so you lock this thing, nobody's getting in it. Another cool accessory I've got for the diamond back is this toolbox. This is a neat little drop-in toolbox that has nothing in it but T-ball snacks right now. So if you've got kids, you know. So there's kind of a shot of how deep the toolbox goes. It's a, uh, it's a really neat design. It just lifts right out. Honestly, I don't keep it in here very often uh, because I have this toolbox here that I kind of switch out for different things. So I didn't really want to have all my tools in this toolbox, especially if I did something like take this off to haul a fifth wheel. I wanted to have my tools uh, where they would be in here and not necessarily in here. So I don't use this very much, but if this is going to be a permanent fixture in your truck, uh, I would recommend this. It's got like an easy access bin here, and then this is a little deeper bin, uh, and it just fits really flush and nice. And then the cover just goes down right over the top. And then so everything that you have in there as far as tools and stuff like that is locked up and safe. So it's a neat little accessory. It's not cheap. It's about $300, I think. So if you don't need it, then it may not be worth it. But it's definitely a cool accessory. Almost as cool as my shovel holder. So anyway, that's the Diamondback. I'm not going to do much on the lights. I haven't done anything else to the truck since I've gotten it. Uh, just the bed cover, really, and the lights. But again, you've already seen the lights. If you hadn't, I've got several videos with these lights. Got some nice shots and stuff like that. Again, I think they look better on the trimmer than they did on the Jeep just because of what the truck is. So you may see a boat there in the back. We'll do another video on that. We've been getting into fishing lately. So, All right, guys. Well, that's a quick update of the trimmer. Just wanted to share that with you since it's been a month or so since I put a video out. Just been uh, busy with life and stuff like that. So stay tuned and, uh, and we'll do a video of this bay boat coming up soon.